Hello, everyone, and welcome to Anderson County High School, where tonight the Lady Bearcats take on the Lady Titans of Collins High School over in Shelby County. This is a district matchup. On the mound for the Bearcats tonight will be Lexi Tinsley. And, of course, behind the plate will be Bailey Curry. Tonight is senior night for the Lady Bearcats. They only have two seniors, and both of them are in the lineup uh, as usual. Bailey Curry, uh, the catcher being one of them, and the other one, Sammy Rogers, the center fielder. We're waiting our first batter here as they do some work over on first base. Not sure what the issue is over there, but they have picked it up and put it back down. Looks like we now might be ready for some action. As you see, Sammy Rogers there in the foreground briefly. Leading off for the Titans will be Haley Renfro. She's a left fielder. Her sister, Hannah, is in center field, and another Hannah is in right field. Hannah Stumbo for the Lady Titans. And we've got an attempted bunt, and that goes in for a strike. Second delivery hits Hallie, and she'll take first base. As you saw, that pitch was inside. And this is another lefty up. This is the second baseman, Cassie Rennells. She will bunt, and that ball, ball gets into the, the outfield. That Taylor Brown picks it up, but Hallie Renfro goes all the way around the bases on that error and scores. So game just underway, and Collins already has a 1-0 lead after two batters. Now over here on the at first base, I'm not sure what happened here, but it looks like Cassie Rennells is slow getting up. Not really sure what happened, but looks like she's holding her her head. Are raising her right knee as she tries to walk it off there and takes a little trip to the down the outfield line trying to decide if she wants to stay in the game or not and I think she does So they will not use a pinch runner. Now up to bat for the Lady Titans will be their third baseman. This is Carson Murray.
like this first delivery a little low. That goes in for a strike. So one and one now on Murray. Wind starting to pick up here a little bit. Blowing from the west to the east. That pitch is high and they, they throw it down to first base and Bailey Curry picks her off. So the count is two and one, and one out now. And that's low, it'll be three and one on Murray. And that's gonna hit right at Sammy Rogers, and Sammy makes the play here right in front of us. So two down now. That brings up the cleanup batter for the Lady Titans. Paige Oldham, she's also the pitcher. Two and zero, oh. nobody on. Two outs here in the top of the first. That's a foul ball down the first baseline. Picked up by Whitaker, but it was in foul play. Two and one now. The count on Page Oldham. Nice pitch, and that's fouled off, but it's caught by Carmen Holt. And that will end the side, but not until Collins does some damage. They lead 1-0 to zero with the bottom of the first coming up here on Anderson County Sports TV. Tonight's game is brought to you by Progressive Photography located in downtown Lawrenceburg. Bottom of the first here, leading off with the Bearcats. One of the seniors, Sammy Rogers, center fielder. Watches that one go by for a strike. She hits it down to third. And is thrown out by Murray. Now the left fielder, Maddie Copenhaver, up for the Lady Bearcats. Also looks at a strike from Oldham. She hits that, caught by the second baseman. And two batters up and two batters down, but that brings up the state's home run leader. Bailey Curry, she holds the single season record with 20 
on the season. Got that last year, and overall, I think with uh, in a career with 72 home runs. And she is the other senior for the Lady Bearcats. Looks at a pretty good pitch right there from Oldham. 0-1. Two outs, nobody on. And that one's high. And that one's low. My guess is uh, she may not see a strike here either since Oldham was out to get Get ahead of her on the first pitch. Hit down the third base line, but it's scooped up, and Curry is thrown out at first base. After one, Collins one, Anderson County zero on Anderson County Sports TV. Jason? Before you got on that plane, I had to tell you. Hey, Jason. Good. You need to hear this, too. You got the house. <laughs> oh, I love this guy. All right. These are for you. Century 21 agents. Smarter, bolder, faster. Ranked highest overall satisfaction for first time in repeat home buyers and sellers two years in a row by J.D. Power. Gracie Reed, the shortstop, will lead off the top of the second for the Lady Titans of Collins High School. Tinsley's pitch is low and perhaps outside. And that's a strike. One and one. He held on to that one a little bit too long. Two and one now on Reed. Nice pitch by Gracie that time. Evens the count at two and two. That will bring the count full. One to zero here in the top of the second, and that's right up the middle for a base hit. Just out of reach of Lexi as she tried to make a play on it. Now the first baseman, Allison Long, comes to bat with a runner on first. Just a little inside. Coach Otters calls timeout here to talk to his team and we'll take a quick timeout as well. You're watching Anderson County Sports TV. Tonight's game is brought to you by Progressive Photography, located in downtown Lawrenceburg. All right, back to action here. We got a runner on first. Almost.
almost a wild pitch, but Curry does a good job of snagging it. That's got to get, get through to right field and uh, another base hit for Collins as they now have runners at first and at second. And nobody out. Abby Herrick, the catcher, now comes to bat. She'll try to bat. And Curry tries to pick off the runner at second, who had to hurry back quickly. The hit and run may have been on, and since that bunt didn't work, that's another bunt. And it's fielded by Tinsley. She gets an out, but that does move the runners now to second and third. Now Hannah Renfro comes to the plate. Her sister led off the game and scored the, the only run we have so far in the contest. But the Titans do have uh, ducks on the pond here in the top of the second. Fouls that one out of play, of course. Oh, ho, ho. Got her on that one. Massive change up. Ball's in there for a strike. So 0 and 2 now. That evens the count at two and two. Here in the top of the second. Runners at second and third for the Lady Titans. Lexi Tinsley delivers. That one's in the dirt. Full count now on the catcher, Herrick. No, excuse me, on the uh, on Renfro. She fouls that one off. And she loses her. Bases loaded now for the right fielder, Hannah Stumbo. One down, three on. And a double play turned by the Lady Bearcats. I don't know who made that play, but they threw it home to get the force, and then Curry goes back to first to get the batter. Stumbo, nice play by the Lady Bearcats. As they get out of that inning without uh, giving up a run. One to zero as we head to the bottom of the second.
Beverly. Jason? Before you got on that plane, I had to tell you. Hey, Jason. Good. You need to hear this, too. You got the house. Oh, oh I love this guy. All right. Here's it for you. Century 21 agents. Smarter, bolder, faster. Ranked highest overall satisfaction for first time in repeat home buyers and sellers two years in a row by J.D. Power. The bottom of the second now. Carmen Holt at the plate for the Lady Bearcats. They trail one to zero, but played some fine softball there at the very end of the top of the second. Well, they had Collins, that is, had bases loaded and only one out, and Lady Bearcats turned a rather unconventional double play to get out of that inning. Carmen is the third baseman for Anderson County. One and two on her now. Paige Oldham is the pitcher for Collins and she feels it and throws Carmen out. Taylor Brown, the right fielder now, approaching the plate for Anderson County. It's going to be fielded by the shortstop and thrown out. So that's two down. Bearcats went three up and three down in the first, and they're in danger of doing the same here as the first baseman, Hannah Whitaker, comes to the plate. It's a healthy swing, but misses. Another good swing at another good pitch, but can't connect. 0 and 2 now. Fouls that one off to stay alive. Fouls another one off. Bounces over my car. You can hit it if you want to. I, I could use a new car. Fouls that one off. to the ball. One and two. Hannah's getting her money's worth at the plate. Looked at six pitches so far and now she fouls one off down the third baseline so she's making Oldham work for it. That one's in the dirt. Two and two. And again, foul ball. So that's, 
I believe, nine pitches that Oldham has thrown to Whitaker. And she finally gets her on that, on the 10th pitch. At the end of two, it's Collins one, Anderson County zero on ACS TV. Tonight's game is brought to you by Progressive Photography, located in downtown Lawrenceburg. Back to action here as Hallie Renfro hits the ball down. The left field line and nice throw in from Brown, but she stretches it to a double. A little high. Curry throws it down to Sutherland just to keep Renfro honest over there. 2 and 0 the count on Cassie Rennells. <clears throat> it's a little guidance from our coach here. Two and one. Foul ball. Two and two here at the top of the third. Tinsley feels it, throws out at first, but that moves Renfro to third. So one down and a runner on third. As Carson Murray comes to the plate. She hits a long fly ball, and that one's out of here. That's going to make it three to zero here in the top of the third. We got one down. And the pitcher, Paige Oldham. Now comes up to bat. That's a quick trip for her as the first baseman, Whitaker, gets the put out.
Gracie Reed, who singled her last time up. Now batting for Collins. <clears throat> she got on, but she was thrown out at, she was forced out at home in that, uh, the first part of that double play that ended their last at bat. Here's a, a fly ball and Brown comes in to make the catch for Anderson County, but Collins puts two more on the board. The Bearcats trail three to zero here with the bottom of the third coming up. Emily. Jason? Before you got on that plane, I had to tell you. Hey, Jason. Good. You need to hear this, too. You got the house. <laughs> oh, I love this guy. <laughs> All right. These are for you. Century 21 agents. Smarter. Bolder. Faster. Ranked highest overall satisfaction for first time in repeat home buyers and sellers two years in a row by J.D. Power. Lexi Tinsley will lead off here in the third for Anderson County. Lady Bearcats have struggled so far from the plate tonight. Going three up and three down the first two innings. They have yet to have anybody get to first base. As Tinsley looks at a strike. But that one is high. Nice fastball by Paige Oldham. Puts another strike on Tinsley. Two and two is the count. And blows another one by her. So far Oldham Working on a no hitter. Jenny Beasley, the shortstop at the plate now for the Lady Bearcats. She's underneath that one. Hmm, thought that was a little low, but the the umpire didn't think so, and he puts another strike on her, so it's 0-2. Little outside, two and two the count. On the shortstop, Jenny Beasley. It's gonna be up in the air, but it's right at the center fielder. He's been one of the few to actually uh, get the ball into the outfield for the Lady Bearcats, but it's an out nonetheless, and we've got two down in the bottom of the third. That ball is low to the second baseman, Kelsey Sutherland. That 
one's a little higher, so. One and one. Kelsey a little underneath that one. Looked like a good pitch from here. Must have been outside. Chelsea fouls that one off to stay alive. And another well hit ball, but that's caught by the center fielder. The Lady Bearcats once again go three up and three down. At the end of three, it's Collins 3, Anderson County 0 here on Anderson County Sports TV. Tonight's game is brought to you by Progressive Photography, located in downtown Lawrenceburg. It's the top of the fourth now. Allison Long batting for Collins. She singled in the top of the second. This time she's going to hit the third baseman and be thrown out. Good job by Carmen Holt over there. Throw it to Whitaker. I think this is the first inning that the Bearcats have gotten the first batter out. So that's a good sign. Abby Herrick, the catcher, fouls off her first pitch. That extreme changeup that Tinsley has, but that one won't fall in there. I think that pitch uh, worked real good against Herrick last time she came to the plate. Blows that one by her, though. And it's one and two. And gets her swinging. Two up, two down here in the top of the fourth. Best half inning so far the Bearcats have had in the field so far. Hannah Renfro, the center fielder, at the plate. She drew a walk. Her first time up, and that was a bullet right to the second baseman, Sutherland. She catches it, and Collins goes three up, three down. As we head to the bottom of the fourth, Lady Bearcats trail 3-0. Century 21 is not an app. It's not a website. It's a team of actual humans, the best in the world at finding homes, selling homes, and making you feel at home. If you're not satisfied, we don't sleep. With all four J.D. Power Awards for customer satisfaction, three years in a row. How many satisfaction awards do you have, Internet? We've got technology, but more importantly, we've got your back. Century 21. All right, we're at the bottom of the fourth, and... One of the seniors, Sammy Rogers, the center fielder at the plate for the Lady Bearcats. Ground out in the first inning.
Gets it to short and beats out the throw. Nice bit of running by Sammy. Maddie Copenhaver now comes to the plate, and uh, I'm going to give that a hit by Sammy. Since I don't think the shortstop really could do much about it, she fielded it cleanly through it as fast as she got it, but still wasn't able to get her out. So that'll break the no-hitter by Paige Odom. Copenhaver fouls off her bunt. Maddie is the left fielder. Tries to bunt again, and this one also foul. So 0 and 2 now on Maddie. out to the second baseman. That's the first out here in the bottom of the fourth, and I'll bring up Curry, the other senior. The catcher, Bailey Curry. And they intentionally walk Bailey I believe that's her 26th intentional walk this season. That's her dad, I believe, down there coaching first base, and she gets a pinch runner. I'll try to tell you who that pinch runner is here in a little bit when I can figure out who it is. Carmen Holt will now come to the plate. Well, there's one out and two on for Carmen. She's the third baseman. Takes a good cut but misses it. Carmen ground out in the second inning. Another good swing, but underneath the ball, I think on both both strikes. And that was a quick double play. Hit to the first baseman. She caught the ball and then tagged the runner. So, unfortunately, Anderson County started off strong there that inning, but the end result was the same. The Bearcats trail 3-0 to zero going into the top of the fifth. Jason? Before you got on that plane, I had to tell you. Hey, Jason. Good. You need to hear this, too. You got the house. <laughs> oh, I love this guy. All right. These are for you. Century 21 agents. Smarter, bolder, faster. Ranked highest overall satisfaction for first time in repeat home buyers and sellers two years in a row by J.D. Power. All right, we're in the top of the fifth here. Hannah Stumbo was supposed to bat, but they've got a pinch hitter in here for her, number 21, but I don't have her number, so I cannot tell you who she is. 
She fouls that pitch off, and it's 0-2. Fouls off another one. Fouls off another one. That's on the roof of the concession stand. And rolls off. Had sufficient velocity to not roll into the gutter. That's a fly ball. And it's going to be caught. By the second baseman, Sutherland. So one down here in the top of the fifth. 3-0, Collins. At the plate, the leadoff batter, Hallie Renfro. Hallie was hit by the pitch in the first inning and then in the third got a double. Wow. What a catch by Taylor Brown. Probably another double had she not caught that ball. Moving to her left and stretching out, making the play. Good job, Taylor. Two down and a foul ball by Cassie Rennells, the second baseman. Two and one now. Fouled off. And that one is caught by Sammy Rogers. So three up and three down that time. Best job the Bearcats have had in the field so far this game. They trail 3-0 going into the bottom of the fifth. Tonight's game is brought to you by Progressive Photography, located in downtown Lawrenceburg. Taylor Brown will lead off the bottom of the fifth. She made an excellent catch and makes an excellent hit here. So once again, the Bearcats uh, lead off the inning with a base hit. Let's see if they can do something with it this time. 
Hannah Whitaker at the dish. Healthy cut, but misses. She struck out in the second. Fouls that one off. In her last at bat, even though she struck out, she really made the pitcher work. She made Oldham throw her 10 pitches before she went down swinging. Fouls that one off. Again, a foul ball. That one, I think, bounced and hit my car. May have done 200 bucks worth of improvements. And a cause. Timeout steps out of the box, surveys the situation. And that one is unfortunately a double play ball picked up by the second baseman. That was a good play by Rennells to tag Brown and then draw on over to Long at first base to get Whitaker. This will bring up the pitcher, Lexi Tinsley. Try and get something going here. The Lady Bearcats could be running out of time here. Here in the bottom of the fifth. Oh and two now on Lexi. She ground out her first time up in the in the bottom of the third. That tells you something whenever a player's first time up is in the bottom of the third. She goes down swinging. That'll be the end of five. Collins leads three to zero here on Anderson County Sports TV. Century 21 is not an app. It's not a website. It's a team of actual humans. The best in the world at finding homes, selling homes, and making you feel at home. If you're not satisfied, we don't sleep. With all four JD Power Awards for customer satisfaction, three years in a row. How many satisfaction awards do you have, Internet? We've got technology, but more importantly, we've got your back. Century 21. The top of the six, and the third baseman, Carson Murray, will lead it off for the Lady Titans. And that is a hit into right field, and she's able to get to second base before Brown is able to get to it and get it in. Pitcher now batting and Collins has a lot of left handed batters. If you can hit left handed, that's advantageous because you're two steps closer to first base. Nice pitch by Alexei Tinsley. getting ahead of Oldham. And there's that changeup. 
Drops it in there. Two and two now. Not giving Oldham too much to look at. She has flied out her previous two times at bat. And this is going to be uh, a fly out too. She's hit the ball to just about every infielder. She flied out to third base, flied out to first base, and now flied out to the shortstop. One down, one on. Gracie Reed, the shortstop, comes up. She got a single her first time up, but then fly it out to Taylor Brown. This is another one that's Another fly out is Sammy Rogers. The senior makes the grab. Two down now. Allison Long at the plate. She got a hit in the Second inning and ground out her last time at the plate. And Taylor Brown makes another grab over in right field and that'll retire the side. We go now to the bottom of the sixth. Anderson County trailing three to zero here on Anderson County Sports TV. Emily. Jason? Before you got on that plane, I had to tell you. Hey, Jason. Good, you need to hear this too. You got the house. <laughs> oh, I love this guy. All right. These are for you. Century 21 agents. Smarter, bolder, faster. Ranked highest overall satisfaction for first time in repeat home buyers and sellers two years in a row by J.D. Power. It's the bottom of the sixth. Jenny Beasley at the plate for Anderson County. Jenny flied out to center field, her only other time up. Gonna be a foul ball. Underneath that one and Collins gets the lead off better. Now Kelsey Sutherland, the second baseman. She also flied out to center field her last time up. Looks at a strike on the inside corner. Low and outside. It's 
It's a nice night here at the ballpark. Started off around 80 degrees, but it's cooled off a little bit here. It's very nice after the sun has gone behind a, a big cloud. It's a called strike. <laughs> two and two. It's going to be fouled out of play. Right at the shortstop, unfortunately, and two down now. They'll bring up Sammy Rogers, the center fielder. Sammy beat out a, a throw from the short, shortstop for a hit in her last time up. That's up in the air, but a little confusion, but the shortstop makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. We go to the top of the seventh. Collins with the lead, 3-0. to zero. Tonight's game is brought to you by Progressive Photography, located in downtown Lawrenceburg. This is supposed to be That'd be Herrick, the catcher, but instead it's number one. I'm not sure who that is, but she ground out to the pitcher in short order. Top of the seventh, one down. This is supposed to be Hannah Renfro. Not really sure it is from this distance. She's wearing a number four. That's who it is. And Copenhaver makes a nice grab for the put out. And that was Hannah Renfro. And a nice catch by Maddie Copenhaver of the Lady Bearcats. We do have another pinch hitter here for Collins. This is Number eight, I believe. Can't make out who it is, but she looks at two balls. This is the ninth position of the batting order. We had a pinch hitter last inning as well. And three and oh, so. We'll see if she has the take sign on or not. And apparently she did. Nice pitch by Lexi Tinsley, making it three and one. And that's three and two on the inside corner. If she were to reach base, Hallie Renfro would come up to bat, and Renfro has done some damage. She scored the first run uh, in the first inning after being hit by the pitch. That's how she got on. And then the third inning, she she got a double. 
That's a big hit, but Sammy Rogers makes the grab for Anderson County. And they go to the bottom of the seventh. This is it. They trail Collins 3-0 here on Anderson County Sports TV. Emily. Jason? Before you got on that plane, I had to tell you. Hey, Jason. Good. You need to hear this, too. You got the house. <laughs> I love this guy. All right. Here's it for you. Century 21 agents. Smarter, bolder, faster. Ranked highest overall satisfaction for first time in repeat home buyers and sellers two years in a row by J.D. Power. Leading off here in the bottom of the seventh, left fielder Matty Copenhaver, who made a very nice catch in the top of the seventh, and that's going to be a hit. Showstop tried to get it, but Copenhaver gets it in there. So for the third straight inning, Anderson County has put the leadoff batter at first base. Now Bailey Curry is up, and my guess is they're going to walk her again, and they do. So I think that's her 27th intentional walk this year, so. And she will get a pinch runner. Carmen Holt, the third baseman now will come to the plate and Collins calls timeout. We'll take it with them. This is Anderson County Sports TV. Tonight's game is brought to you by Progressive Photography, located in downtown Lawrenceburg. First pitch to Carmen, outside. Fouls that one off. We've got nobody out and two on here in the bottom of the seventh, but the Bearcats trail 3-0. We'll see what Carmen can do here. She hits it. The second baseman makes the catch excuse me, the uh, right fielder makes the catch, I'm sorry, and Copenhaver on second base uh, elects to stay there. So one down now as Taylor Brown comes to the plate. Taylor got a single when she was last at bat, but then was uh, the first out and double play. Age Oldham leads with a strike. Outside. Right fielder again, and they tag. And Copenhaver is safe at third base. Hannah Whitaker come up to bat now with two down and runners at the corner. But the Lady Bearcats still trail 
3-0. Collins questioning the tag. The umpire says, nope, she tagged up. Right down the middle there for Whitaker. Hannah struck out in the second. That hit into a double play, her last at bat, and now she's got two strikes on her. Fouls that one off. Fouls that one off as well. If you remember in the second inning, she went down, but she didn't go down easy. Really made Oldham work hard to get her out. Fouling off several pitches. Fouls off another one. And I'm just unable to get that bat around. To put it in play, and then the, the double play ball that she hit into went to the second baseman. If she could just get the ball on the other side of second base. That one's outside. One and two. I'm sure that uh, Oldham is not going to give her uh, anything on the inside of the plate. And that one's up and out of play. It's about four foul balls already. Another foul ball. She just got a little bit of that one, but that was enough to stay alive. Fouls off another one. Six foul balls. Might see a change up coming here for Oldham. We'll see. And another foul ball. And yet another foul ball. <laughs> and that got her. Took a high pitch, may have been a ball, but that did it. That's the ball game. Anderson gave a good fight, but just had uh, trouble at the at the plate tonight. They lose to Collins, three to zero. And we thank you for watching Anderson County Sports TV. Tell your friends.